So we are following information about a worldwide hacking attack affecting some federal and state government agencies and major universities. Officials say the attacks amount to cyber extortion, where the criminals say that they will return stolen data after a ransom payment. So senior investigative correspondent Catherine Herridge is joining us now, or rather has more on this story. Officials believe a Russia-based cyber criminal gang known as CLOP is likely behind the breach. Since last month, the extortion group gained access to sensitive and personal information through a file sharing app called MoveIt. This MoveIt file transfer app is widely used because it makes securing data so convenient. It makes it easy to move data in a way that's encrypted. Some American targets include the Energy Department, plus Johns Hopkins affiliated hospitals in Maryland and Florida, Georgia's statewide university system, the Minnesota Department of Education, and overseas, Shell and British Airways were hit. Bob Gourley is the former chief technology officer for the Defense Intelligence Agency. What stands out in this attack? The adversaries have a chance to get two bites from the same apple, meaning first they can put ransomware on your computer and say, you can never use your data again unless you pay us money. But meanwhile, they have a copy of your data. So the next request comes. In this message, believed to be from the cyber criminals, the group warns that if a ransom is not paid, after seven days, all your data will start to be published, sometimes on the dark web, where foreign adversaries are looking to leverage the data. They've started releasing some of the data that was stolen as part of their work to extort these companies. Ann Newberger is the White House Deputy National Security Advisor for Cyber and Emerging Technology. We strongly encourage anyone who is a user of this software to, of course, patch, lock down their systems. U.S. government officials told reporters there is no evidence these hackers are coordinating directly with the Russian government. And so far, they said there's no evidence the U.S. military and intelligence agencies have been impacted. Anne-Marie. So, you know, as soon as I heard this, then I started to think, am I being affected? It's, you know, we don't know the long list of uh, organizations or that, that have been hacked. So who needs to be concerned? I think the type of data that seems to be most at risk here is a personal information and unfortunately healthcare information. Mm. So if you have a connection to any of these major healthcare networks, um, there is a chance that your information may have been compromised. And the reason that that information is at the center of this is because of this encrypted file sharing system. You know, there are all sorts of rules with HIPAA about protecting your personal information. And ironically, it's an app that was designed to do just that that was compromised in the end. Um, you mentioned the cyber criminal group or gang, I guess, CLOP. Is this a new gang? Have they done this before? This group, CLOP, has been around really since about 2014. It's been behind uh, several major breaches. Um, it's sort of it's sort of hard to think of them as a cyber gang because it sounds like it's disorganized, but in fact, it's a very organized operation. They almost run it, experts say, like a, like a business and contract out work. So if you manage to find a compromise and you get information, uh, they'll help you get the maximum amount of money in uh, these sort of ransom extortion schemes. Unnerving. Catherine, thank you very much. You're welcome.